Greetings traveler and welcome to another one of my speed builds. For today our travels bring us to Chestnut Ridge and we're building a horse ranch and a family house using the new Sims 4 expansion pack which is Sims 4 horse ranch and of course CC or custom content. And before we start talking about the build, I just want to say hi. If you're new here, I'm Bella. I mainly do speed builds with custom content. And if you're looking to download this house, you're going to find the tray files and the CC links on my Patreon. And it's also on Chris Forge. And if you just want to download the thing from the gallery, you can go ahead and do that. My gallery ID is the same as my channel name. I'm saying this in the beginning of the video because a lot of people don't watch the entire video and I keep getting questions like, where can I download this? Where are the CC links? And you know, things like that. Just check out the description. Everything you need is gonna be there. And without further ado, let's get into this build. So this is not exactly an American kind of ranch. This is more inspired by this one mansion I found on Pinterest and it's European, specifically in France. I don't know what's up with me recently with all of these French builds, French inspired, but yeah, this is the real life building and it's a chateau in France and it was actually recently for sale but it's no longer listed so I don't know if somebody bought it or not but it was listed for a little over 700,000 euros and it's it's actually a quite old structure. It was built between the 12th and 14th century and it has some Templar origins as the website says, says which is kind of interesting. And it was newly renovated. They started working on the renovations in I think 2005 and they kept working on it all the way through until 2019 so it did take a lot of time and a lot of effort to renovate this whole thing and I read a little bit about the renovation they did a lot of like base work um, like work on the roofs and the floors and the walls and everything so yeah it did take a lot of work but anyway this is what inspired this build and of course the real life shadow is much more prettier than what I built in The Sims because it's mainly two stories and what I built in The Sims is just one story. I really wanted to do a two story build just like the real life mansion but I thought that it it's gonna be a little too big and this is a 64 by 64 lot so the house, I wanted the house to be more long than it is high, so that's why it's just one floor. So it's built in this kind of L shape and the rest of the lot is just this whole open yard and of course there is the space for your horses where they train and eat and, and sleep and everything. There are two separate structures from the house. One is a barn for your horses to sleep in and the other one is a nectar making room. So I didn't really want the house to be big because this is a 64 by 64 like I said. So I wanted the entire space to be more focused on the ranch part and the animals. So I did a little bit of playing around in cast mainly because I wanted to make horses. I was pretty excited about that and I made a small family for this house and you probably saw like a glimpse of them in the intro but I'm also going to show like the horses and the sheep 
and goat in the outro. And I made two horses for the family. One is named Bubbles and she's a white and pink unicorn. She's very cute. And the other horse is a baby horse. His name is Kelpie and he's basically the opposite of Bubbles. He's like entirely black. And I just love them. They're so cute. I also really, really love the, the sheep and goats, but like mainly the sheep. I love sheep. I love the sound that they make. Uh, I did include a little clip of, of them in the end, like making their cute little sounds. So overall, I can say that I'm happy with the pack and I just love animals, so I'm happy anytime they add animals to the game. And for the build and buy mode, I absolutely love the items that we got, especially the interior items. And I just, I love this uh, rustic kind of style. I love all the wooden old furniture. I love the new textures. It's very different from what they usually do and in a good way. I, I really love them. They are hard to match with their other items and also with CC because the textures are new but they're, they're lovely. I really love them. So anything that's uh, vintage and old and run down is beautiful to me. There are a couple of things that I want to address in this video and it's uh, something a little like uh, personal so if you're not interested you can just mute or skip this part but I, I'm not gonna make it too long, don't worry. Um, I'm starting a new job pretty soon. I quit my old job so I'm not really sure how the schedule is gonna be and how it's gonna affect my daily routine. It's gonna take a lot of adjustments, of course, and getting used to. So I'm not sure how my upload schedule is gonna be, but I do have maybe four videos that are already complete and I just have to edit them and upload them. So I, have some backup videos is what I'm saying and hopefully the new job and the new schedule won't be too tiring and I hope that I won't have to take another long break from The Sims because I just I can't believe I'm back I'm very glad that I am and honestly I just I wish I can actually do this like full time I wish this was my job but yeah things are tough and YouTube is not actually making any income for me. I posted a long time ago that my channel got monetized. I did talk about that before and this was like a year ago maybe even more. Yeah it's over a year ago and I didn't see any money from that basically because because of YouTube and their stupid terms and conditions I don't want to talk about it but yeah I just I didn't get monetized properly so now that I'm in Dubai 
and I have an actual stable job and everything, I will re-monetize my channel. But what I would really appreciate is that if you guys supported me on Patreon, anything, any little amount of money just makes a huge difference. So please, I would really appreciate it. I really do want to be a full-time content creator. So, of course, everything is linked in the description if you want to. And there actually will be benefits for joining Patreon. I will add polls to so you can vote on what my next build's gonna be. You get to vote once each month. So that's an added benefit. And I will probably, but this is not 100% confirmed, I will probably also add a tier that is for commissions. But I will update you on all that later. And oh my god, we're already in the interior and I already finished the entryway and living room. I wanted to add a little more modern touches to this ranch basically because the next ranch I'm planning is very traditional so I wanted this one to be just a little a teeny tiny bit more modern or I can say it's equally traditional and modern transitional so this kitchen I cannot describe to you how much I love this kitchen. It's easily one of my top five, probably, favorite kitchens I've ever made. I really love how it mixes like something ultra modern with something very old and vintage. And I did mix three kitchen here and somehow they work out pretty well with each other in, in this specific case. And they are mainly the MCM Kitchen by Pierre Sim, which is the modern one. Those modern counters and the marble shelves on top of them. And I also mixed it with the Coastal Kitchen from Hey Harry. And this island in the middle is from EA from the Horse Ranch Pack.
by the way you guys one item that i really want in the game whether it's cc or ea it doesn't matter but it's a bidet and i made one here a fake one using this shower from snowy escape because it's actually the only one that i have that would make like a convincing bidet when i say bidet i'm not talking about the separate toilet seat that you use to wash your nether regions but i'm talking about the hose kind of bidet that's attached to a hose and has like a a pump shower head kind of thing you know which one i'm talking about i just really need one of those it just sucks that it's something that i use in my everyday life and we don't even have that in the sims i don't know if you noticed but i changed my editing style a little bit for the interior of this build because i don't like how my builds used to look before the cameras just jumping around too much and too quickly it just wasn't so smooth so I thought I'd give this type of editing a try and I'm actually pretty happy with how it uh, it is it looks so actually let me know in the comments if you like it like this or if you prefer the old way please let me know I really really appreciate your feedback This kids room here, this toddler and infant room, if you ask me like what this reminds me of or what is it inspired by, there are a few home decor magazines that my mom used to have, I think she still has them actually, from the early 2000s and they were filled with like this ideal American family house and they all looked like this. They had this specific color scheme based on the American flag of course which is red and blue and white with a lot of stars and it's just it's this room just captures the essence of those magazines I think but I'm not sure that a lot of them were better homes and gardens, but like I said, not entirely sure. And the second room is for a child. And look at this set, it's so cute. This is the dino set, I think, by Ciboulet CC. And I actually don't usually use her CC because it's more on the alpha side, but Recently, she has been coming out with sets that are more Maxis match, so I will probably keep on using her CC from now on, but I'm not so sure. I... I'm gonna see. And for the parents' bedroom, I am obsessed with it. I think it's my second favorite room in the house. The first one's my kitchen. And... I just love it. I really do. I love the beams and the spandrels that I've added into each of the rooms almost. They add a lot of character and rustic charm. So yeah, uh, I think that's everything I wanted to say for today's video. It's going to end soon anyway. So. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this speed build and I hope to see you again in my next one. Like I said in the beginning of the video, you're gonna find the tree files and CC links on my Patreon and on CurseForge, everything is linked in the description and you can also find this on my gallery. My ID is the same as my channel name and I'll be seeing you, bye!